This is the installation New Unions. It's a kind of imaginative political headquarters where we map the possibility of building alternative trans-democratic unions uh, with various internationalist and transnational political parties and platforms that are active in the European context today. And through the symbols that are surrounded in the, into this space, we both try to show the work we've been doing as a campaign, as an artistic and political campaign, uh, and try to open up the imaginary of what future forms of unionization could be. Personally, I believe that there is always a relationship between art and power and that whether it is in the context of the market or whether it is in the context of the state, the structures of power that are dominant in a society impact the way we see culture. It impacts the way that we define the ownership over culture, who has access to culture, and the form of, of culture, of art and culture. So for me it's extremely important that as artists we are aware of this and that we commit and work together when it comes to unionizing the imagination of art and the imagination of politics. The imagination of emancipatory art and the imagination of emancipatory politics. This exhibition has not traveled a lot in the, way, in the form that it is. It was really made specifically for the Teatro Garibaldi, especially this enormous version of the map. It's the fourth version of the, this alternative trans-democratic map of, of Europe. But it's true that some of the components come from different geographies of the, this ongoing campaign, this attempt to push and challenge the ima imaginary of politics. But of course, if that is only an image, if it's not a lived image, then, then what does it mean? For me, it's very important that uh, an artwork also hosts and influences and challenges and insp inspires the process of assembly, of um, bodies assembling and in an attempt to uh, find links and common ground and inspire one, one another's imagination in the process of making a uni such a union a reality. It's very difficult to fight for political change if you don't have an imagination of where you want to go. But if you only have that imagination and you don't have the political mobilization, then that imagination is powerless. It shows us the world, but we can never get there. It becomes an, an art that, is, that only serves itself. So for me, the, this intersection between the imagination of popular mass movements, the imagination of art, they are not exactly the same, but they inspire and challenge each other to make collective imagination political reality.